this is a palm cross making video and I thought I would just do a small tutorial seeing as we can't meet together and do our normal palm cross making session I thought I might show you how to do it on this video here so I've got some palm leaves that I cut from the palms in the garden and we'll just select one leaf here um, you might notice that the leaf is sort of in two parts. It's got a, a pretty ridge, um, solid ridge here down the middle. So you need to take that ridge out because it'll interfere with the way you make your palm crosses. So um, I just usually run my fingernail down the middle of the palm and um, strip the leaf off. And then you've got the leaf here. So you just need one half of it per cross. And you, um, I like to have it with the, the thin end on the left and the thicker end on the right, but you can have it however you need to have it to make it work for you. So if you sort of take the middle of the leaf, just in the middle of your hand here, and you need to take the right hand side and fold it up to the sky. So you need to make a right angle and sort of, see, see that? It's sort of bent over, makes a triangle shape and it's just a right angle straight up like that. We're, we're making the knot which holds, see if you have a look here, we're making the knot that holds the cross secure. So to do that, we have to fold the leaf a few times. So we folded it up like this, and then we take this top piece again and fold it across the back. So you, you wanna fold it again so that it's making that square shape that's in the middle of your cross. So you're folding it down, see that? Folding it down like that. And then you take it again and fold it up. So you can even see that it's a square, that it's a square shape here, right in the center. All right, so now this is where we make our knot. We take the left hand strand across here and we fold it all the way across the front here of what you've just made, what you've just folded up to make the square. So you're making a cross here and you take this right hand strand and you turn your cross around and you look for the little pocket at the back here that you've made with all the folding. And you thread this left hand piece through this little pocket in the back. It's fiddly, I know, through this little pocket in the back. Slide it through, see it's in there? See it's in there now, sliding through there and you just pull it through, all the way through, and pull it nice and tight. And then you've got this really nice, tight little square right here, and it's all secure, it can't pull, pull apart. And that's the foundation of your cross there. Then you take this top part up here, you're gonna make the top of the cross. So fold it forward, and just pop it through the little pocket that you've made with the knot. It just it's really simple just slide it through there pull it through and leave that top piece just there making the top of the cross then you take this side arm here and you're going to do the same thing you did before and you're going to grab it here turn it back on itself find the little pocket at the back again and poke it through so nice and strong there through there and you're pulling it through you're making the side arms of the cross so you just pull it through as far as you want it and then turn this one back in on itself to make this other arm adjust it so that they're nice and even and there you have it one palm cross nice strong and secure now you can just leave it like that if you like I actually like mine flat so I flatten mine here and I just flatten them by squashing the arms like that because then I can use them as a bookmark in my Bible or on my prayer book or wherever I need a bookmark and I usually end up with heaps of them and you just keep them all year mm -hmm. they make a great bookmark and then next year just before Ash Wednesday we bring them into the church again we burn them all and turn them into ash for our Ash Wednesday service so there you have it, palm crosses, nice and simple for our Palm Sunday service, which we can't have 
because of this virus but we will have it online this sunday april 5 palm sunday there you go palm crosses